Are you going through something right now that's making you realize and say, that's it, I'm ending it all here. I'm done with life. If that's the case, I need you to please pay close attention. The Bible says in Acts chapter 16 that the apostle Paul and Silas were beat up and then they were put in prison and then not only were they locked up, they were put into stocks. And yet, despite everything that they were going through, they praised God. And they praised and they praised for hours and they were rejoicing in God even though they were locked up and in prison. See, physically they were locked up, but their soul and their spirit were free because they're children of God. Nothing can destroy them. Now, I'll tell you this, so God's power manifested in such a powerful manner that their praise brought deliverance from the Lord and God sent an earthquake and it broke the prisoner door open. They were free to go. Now, how interesting. Let's pause there. If you're going through a hard time, the worst thing that you can do is just think and feel and feel and just think and feel and feel about everything. Put on your praise. It's time to start praising God because when you praise God, you magnify who God is and the power of God and the hope that rises up with you to step in faith. And that's what Paul and Silas did. They were praising God despite the circumstances that they were in. They did not do a single thing wrong, but yet they were jailed. Yet they lost everything and they were in prison, but yet they abounded knowing that God was going to restore to them everything they lost and more. But praise, the Bible says in Psalm 8, silences the enemy. When we praise God, it stops the enemy and what he's doing in your life. It silences the enemy. Now, how interesting that the doors were all open and the jailer who was there taking care of the prisoners, he was physically free, but check this out. Check this out about his, the jailer's soul and the jailer's spirit. He was about to kill himself because he thought everyone escaped and he was about to kill himself. And yet the men of God tell him, don't kill yourself. We're all here. See, the thing is, the jailer was physically free, but his soul and his spirit were in jail. It was in slavery. The men of God could have been put physically in a jail, but yet their spirit and their soul could not be enslaved. Are you in that circumstance right now? Are you struggling and about to give up in life like that jailer and just give up? The Bible says that this jailer became joyful and his life turned around when he invited the men of God into his life. He and his entire family got baptized in water and turned to the Lord. Listen, it's time that you realize that you are not alone. If you stay away from the house of God, if you stay away from the men of God, the covering of the, God's ministers in your life, you're going to continue to allow the enemy to be louder on your life and enslave you. Even though you're physically free, your spirit and your soul are enslaved. But when you come into contact with the people of God and you get in contact with a minister and go to the church, you are realizing you are not alone and God can bring freedom to your life. This is not a reason to give in. This is a reason to move in with Christ. God has the power to turn your whole mess around and bring victory in your life. You know, at church, one of the most favorite songs that we sing there is victory is mine, but you got to fight for that victory and you cannot fight alone. There's power in praise, but there's power in praise when we're all praising together and realize we are not alone. And there's victory when the whole entire family can be touched by the power of God and be baptized in water, have your sins forgiven, and be in the family of God. Do not give up. Reach out. If you're far away, send us a message so we can make an appointment and we can help you. We can help you. We can talk and see what's going on. But over everything, we can pray. And if you need to schedule deliverance, we can do it virtually or in person. 
But if you're in person and if you are in this area, I invite you. I want to see you at Walk on Water Church. We just started our church in Horizon City, Texas. Come on over. We have our service for Palm Sunday this coming week at 11. After Palm Sunday, we go to 10 o'clock. But I want to see you 11 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. I want to see you in person because you know what? As we celebrate Palm Sunday, think about it. The victory came. The Messiah came because a group of people decided as a group to worship and praise God. They even said, Hosanna, which means, oh, save us. See the group? When God gives us prayer for us as the children of God, Jesus spoke that prayer. He said, our Father, for it, because it says for us to pray it as our together. Because God honors unity in the church. You are not alone. Don't fight alone. We love you and we care for you. And there's victory in the life of every believer when we are in Christ. The Bible says we're more than conquerors. Come, let us worship together. Let us praise together. And the Bible says that when we praise together, our praises silence the enemy. And the men of God can administer to you and your whole family the word of God for you to walk in victory and supernaturally walk on water. I'll see you next time and I'll see you this weekend. God bless you.